All right, got a high noon, high noon today. No, I thought it was high moon. Got something other than truly. So let's see how it tastes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. First time having one, so hopefully it just fucking shuts down my liver. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching The Boys season two, episode two. Now. Basically, in the last episode, Butcher came back. He was gone all of last episode. His presence was definitely missed. We missed him, but he, the boys needed him, so he pulled up. Because all the boys are actually wanted, okay? And they're on the run right now, and they're all in hiding. And Reyna's fucking head got blown off. What the fuck? So I'm guessing the CIA is going to be no help to them anymore. Which kind of blows. Maybe they will. I don't know. It kind of seemed like Butcher was connected to the CIA just through Reyna. So... We'll see about that. But yeah, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as an early access to the next two episodes that I do will also be on Patreon. So let's get started. Got that handwriting. I like it's good handwriting, I just can't read. <laughs> that was the end of episode eight of season one. Him to Becca and her kid and then just dumped Butcher. So this is this is what happened to Butcher after that. Hi! Welcome to Endless Pasta Week at Tony Cicero's. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Federal authorities have initiated a multi-state man. Okay, yeah, he's like writing down everything. For allegedly he but he's wanted! And Madeline still will, as well as in So it's probably why he changed his clothes. Set up a tip line and are urging yeah, I'm assuming he's just writing down on the paper everything he remembers about Becca's house. Just so he can hopefully find it again later on. Girl. Mm-hmm. She's trying to tell him. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Playing catch with this fucking kid. Signed by Don Larson himself. Pitched a no-hitter in game five. Who? Pretty yeah, cool, exactly. Huh? What you're capable of. Nope. You know, when I was his age, I was breaking the sound barrier. <laughs> okay. We? Who's we? This fucking thing on this planet to a normal little boy. Mm-hmm. Is alive and well and... Running around. What was the deal? What is missing here? Oh, the gills. The gills. Be honest with yourself. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you want from me. I want you to open up. Be vulnerable. He's obviously self-conscious about his gills. Kenny. Oh, Dee. This oh, is no. your journey. Oh, he gave him psychedelics. Hundred percent. What? Hmm. Where? What? I gotta go. What? No. Actually. Only emergency. Is everything okay? Uh, it's Never had three women in the seven before. This is a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I love Maeve. I have a family emergency too. Uh, no, you don't. I think Maeve is going to her ex. And your friends to help you carry it. In the name of Christ. Oh, okay. Amen. Why is that hell sus? Butcher's probably here. A promise. Turn you in for the murder of Madeline's Bro, what the fuck? Grace, I know who killed Rainer. Mm-hmm. Don't specifically, technically have the answer to that. <sighs> Fort killed her for getting too close to something. Getting too close to what? For Rainer. You never... <clears throat> just hit me out. Butcher seems pretty damn desperate. <clears throat> what the fuck? Wait, who... Igor? Hey! Oh, it's gonna be his gills talking to him because he's fucking tripping now that he drank that. Bro, we gotta talk. <laughs> no, you gotta look at us. Look yep. at us. You gotta confront. You gotta confront it. You gotta learn to embrace it and live with it. And eventually, you, you eventually you just accept it, and then you forget all about it. You humiliate them first. Okay. Yep. Def he's defense mechanism. <laughs> Damn, he has some deep-rooted issues, dude. Hey, Kevin! Hey, hey, let me out, man! Oh, his real name Kevin? Oh. 
Oh, hey, he needs this though. He needs this. His character is gonna take a total 180. Oh shit, she's in the ER. What are you doing here? I'm here for you. There are easier ways to get my attention. She didn't do this. Seriously, thanks for coming, but I'm trying to fish to see if she's dating someone else. Oh, Maeve cares about her. Maeve's still in love. <laughs> Ashley's fist. Are you worried about him? No, he's in the hospital. <laughs> but obviously they're coming it up. He's right behind you. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, he's made a full recovery. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Uh, it's behind the scenes, they actually fought each other, and it's like, ah. How are you feeling? Yeah, are we cool? Like, fan fucking testing. <laughs> <laughs> we were really worried about you. Ah. Really gives you some perspective. Yeah, he's pit. He's better, dude. He's yeah. so bitter. Thank you. Mm. You're so. I hadn't been there to give you CPR. Mm-hmm. That's good to know. Mm. Good. Yeah, good cover up. Cool. Oh. Everyone feel about you helping your traitor fucking boyfriend escape? Yeah, A Train knows what happened. He he doesn't have amnesia. <laughs> Here he's just vibing. She's gonna help us. We get oh, you convinced her. The record's clean. Get the old bill off our asses. Go back to your girls. Okay. Now you're telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve to be loved. Mm hmm. Don't fuck with me. You have to love yourself, though, before you can love other people. No. Yes. You. Everything I hope for. You're breaking through them. <laughs> It'll probably end up in a manatee's belly when your kid chucks it in the garbage. Hey, she's a real one for that. I don't need some fucking Vought Spy Barbie. Wow. Used to be a fan, but look at you. You sold out. Vottiest Vought and all Vought. Wow. Oh, it's Gecko behind her. Why is he missing an eye? Sell it? Volumizing dry shampoo for eye irritation. Okay. If you give a fuck. <laughs> if you threaten me again, I'm gonna make sure they're good. Fuck. I mean, it's just like a package. Put it on shirt. Is that with Gecko? Hey. Yeah, it. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, he heard them talking about the V. Oh, no. What'd you just put in your boot? What? Uh, Nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, where is it? Oh, she put it in her bag. Okay. That was smooth. That was smooth. What the f Okay. Why is she worried? Why is she. Okay. What is she doing? Bro, what? You're a fucking weirdo, dude. He misses mommy's milk. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is she? I want to talk to Dr. Park. Uh. Never know about Ryan or me. That was the deal. It was concealed from him. Corbett mm -hmm. has made a decision not to antagonize him. For wow. Couldn't find us ever again. I think we both know that that's not possible. Yeah, not from Homelander. He'll find you. You have to move us, please. I'm sorry. Now that he knows, he's back in the tube. You should probably be. Okay, that's a horrible analogy. But it's like now that he knows that they're alive. Best guess, you'll get bored like... and move on. <sighs> You don't know that. Dude, you can't depend on him getting bored and moving on. That's horrible. Oh shit. Like before when he thought they were dead, he he had no reason to look for them because they were dead. Like he thought. But now he knows they're alive and if they run away, he'll go look for them and he'll find them. Needs is another nose job. Okay, we've done this down. <clears throat> Elena, it's time to go. Aw. Don't do that to Maeve. There's a fire in his office. They found his head in one room and his torso in an. Oh, Homelander killed him. Homelander killed him. 100%. What are you saying? Homelander got jealous. I don't want him to do that to you. Yeah. Homelander? Yeah, but 
She has. She has. She has no idea how bad Romander is. Things he made me do. Yep. A lot of awful shit. If he ever finds out about you, he will kill you. Why are you telling me this now? Yeah, that's why I may have probably had to break up with her before, or keep her away. Yeah. See, it's like if you tell her that in the beginning of a relationship, they're gonna be like, "Why the fuck would I stay with you? I'm out of here." Before I get too invested into this, you know. So it's probably she never told her in the beginning because she she didn't want her to run away, like get scared and leave her. Mom says being lonely makes you know yourself better. Oh, facts. I know myself pretty well. I never had a dad. Yeah. Sport in a lab. You didn't. No. He's manufactured in a lab. Every single other person on the planet, it's, it's isolating. Oh, <laughs> fucking God, dude. This fucking... <laughs> Can't believe you just said that. <laughs> well, what are you doing, dude? You and me. Are gods. We're gods. Oh, yeah, there you go. We want... And no one can stop us. Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Does Ryan even have powers? Because their powers comes from the V. Right? And so did Ryan ever get any of the V? Or since Homeland already has powers, it's in his DNA now and he can pass it down? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wonder if Ryan actually ha I wonder if I'm right about that. If Ryan even has any powers. You say it back. <laughs> um, I... I don't know you. Two. Yeah. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, a floor stick. I love you. Yeah, that's real nice. Oh, shit. Good. Excuse me? You need to get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> what happens one day when baseball game? Swim in the ocean. Eat at a Burger King. Eat at a Burger What are you talking about? <laughs> you kept him in this pretty prison. Yeah, I mean, okay, it's either Ryan doesn't have any powers because he can't pass him down, or he never had the V, or Ryan does have powers, and he was just never taught how to use them, so it's now he's trying to for the first time, and like, you know. I'm not going to get bored and move on. Oh, fuck, you heard them. So feel free to tell Dr. Park to go fuck himself. Wow. That's fucking terrifying, dude. What if he doesn't work on the terrorist inside? Okay, Kamiko knows something and she's trying to tell them, but they just don't get it. I'm trying to tell Frenchie, and he just doesn't, like, he just doesn't know what she means. But she knows, she knows. <sighs> Where are they? Costume store? Oh, I should get that for Nala. Bro, his head looked like it was... That fucking cutout of Homelander's head looked like it was moving. <laughs> oh my fucking god. The ones who kidnapped you? Yeah. Is that her brother? No, it's not. Oh, yeah it is, yeah it is. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Damn, all right. Well, we got our fucking brother. Sick. Dude, they're gonna kill him. Like, just... They're gonna give us this nice moment and they're gonna take it away from us. Wait, 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 wait. It's your brother. Butcher, don't kill him. Don't kill him anyway. Butcher! Why? Does he know something? Yeah, Butcher, does, does Butcher know something we don't? Like, oh, fuck. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, they just survived all that. No, no problem. No injuries or anything. You know me. I'm not a sellout. Oh, <laughs> thing that you're saying about Vod. Maybe I think Vod's corrupted isn't actually a PR strategy. You can say what you think. What if it's mm -hmm. not safe? You are literally bulletproof. What the fuck is gonna happen? 
Homelander rips her fucking head off? Hmm? Pippi Longstocking. Who the fuck is that? Hmm. Pippi didn't care. She never cared about being polite or cute. Ah, uh, so that's why you're a bitch. Fuck this world for confusing nice with good. Be a bitch if you want. Oh, Be whatever. oh Just there you go. The hey, she's kind of a bitch, but she's real as fuck. So I kind of got to respect it. I feel like Starlight just, she didn't even really care to talk to her right there. She just wanted her fucking pack back. What the V in it. You want to explain yourself, Butcher? Are you just killing him because he's a soup? Oh, wait. That was the soup terrorist. Oh my god, I just I just pieced that together. I just put that together. Cause his powers get okay. He, he's the one who threw the boat. Okay. That's why Butcher went to go kill him. Oh come on, no piss about. We ain't got all night. They're not going. Not without Huey. But Kamiko is one of us. Yeah. Don't ya? Since your tongue is halfway up her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Beck is alive. <gasps> what? Oh, shit. That's why he's trying to do all this. She's alive. Vought's holding the captive somewhere. Yes, yeah, so he, he's trying to get back to her. Mm -hmm. Humiliate me. Show me what he done to my girl. Yeah. And I gotta get her the fuck out of there. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, yeah. And I need your help to do it. Aww. Are you fucking with us? No. I find the terrorist for Mallory. She finds Becca for me. That's the deal. Yep. Damn, I wanted to die. They had one dose left, and they knew it worked on you. So they figured it would work on me. Oh, shit. Who, uh, who is sexting? What? What dude, are you- Leave me alone, dude. Oh no. I'm having a heavy flow day. It's ah. Uh, when you're getting the skin peeled off your face, bitch. Fuck, dude. Dude, she has to do something. You're not gonna tell anyone anything. Cause I'll just tell. I'll tell them you're on it too. Cause you killed your fucking girlfriend. Yeah. That's what you told Huey, right? That you killed Popclaw. Yep, he did say that. Time. I mean, one of them actually shattered the bone. Wow. Would someone really do that to themselves? I mean, it doesn't look like an act. No, it's because he just put them all so fast. Sports Illustrated found out. Yep. There goes your endorsements. And there goes your life. Go ahead. I want to die. <laughs> just calling his bluff. Yep. <laughs> He's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> like, touche. Touche. Why would you go back? Oh, shit. America, Jin, sir. Damn. Hero. Superhero, got Barsa no map touch this stand up. At the entire school caved with yeah. Babies burned alive in their cribs and the propane takes explaining that I never wanted this, but they were right all along. They murdered our parents. This country is an enemy of the world now. We need to fight back, fight with me. Oh, 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 she's grabbing his wrist hard. Uh, oh, fuck. No. No, they turned on each other. Or he turned on her. Damn, he turned on her. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> Damn, she really just killed him? I mean, he, te he technically was an op. But, like... Uh, oh, she just... At least someone's got some sense around here. <laughs> oh shit, she did not like that. 
All right, well, that worked out, I guess. Uh, it doesn't look like he's dead. Dude, oh my god, Nala, what are you doing, dude? Dude, wait, hold on, guys, 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 guys. Watch this, watch this. Holy fuck. Look at this. Okay. You come between me and my missus again, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> that butcher does not play around with that shit. My camera is about to fall. What does she realize? <sighs> He's rethinking everything. All right, well, that was The Boys Season 2, Episode 2. All right, so that was The Boys Season 2, Episode 2. And now, okay, so we found Kamiko's brother, right? He turned out, it turns out he was the soup terrorist we were looking for. That's okay, that's why Butcher tried to kill him right there. But, but Huey being such a good guy, he stopped Butcher from doing it. And now, based off what her brother was saying, America is the enemy of the world now because they have all the superheroes and they kind of torched their, their home village, kind of just, you know, fucking ruined all of it, killed everyone. And so, like, he hates them all. He hates all the soups now. Which, okay, that's pretty damn justified. You know, Kimiko wasn't there. She was already she was already taken away by then. So she wasn't there. So she doesn't personally hate, hate them as much. She doesn't personally hate them as much. Now, okay, I thought they'd, I thought they might like stretch that out over a little bit. Like Kimiko would be conflicted to like take whose side, you know? But I mean, that got resolved pretty quick. So now they have him, but then the deal Butcher made, if he kills the soup terrorist, he will be brought to Becca, right? That's the deal he made. And so that's what he's trying to do. Now that he has him, I guess he brings the soup terrorist to Mallory. She'll bring him to Becca. That's the deal they made. So, and then Starlight got the V, right, from Gecko. But A-Train's on to her. A-Train knew what she was doing. And he's really bitter about what happened to him with Huey and her and everything. Which, okay, he has every right to be that pissed. That fucking pressed about, right? But I mean, at the same time, like, bro, we saved your life. Like, we didn't ha technically have to, but we chose to do it. So leave us alone, you know? I don't know. I feel like I feel like A Train just needs somebody to love him, you know? And then he won't be as bitter towards everyone. So, and then Homelander won't leave Becca alone. Becca and his, Becca and her son alone. Now, okay. When I think it, so Homelander is trying to get Ryan to use his powers, right? Okay, so we know that those soups get their powers from Compound V, right? Now, can can they pass their powers down genetically, right, to their kids? I don't know if they can or can't. So, if Ryan never got the V, he, that, mean, that means he doesn't have any powers. And Becca's trying to get him to live an ordinary life, right? So, she, she never, like... She never allowed him to use his powers or anything if he has them So I I kind of think Ryan doesn't have any powers because he probably would have naturally used them by now in a situation unless He's been so sheltered To where he's just never needed to use them in like any situation ever You know if like you ever get like super pissed off and like your laser eyes come out if he has the same powers as Homelander I don't know if he does or not you know, maybe, maybe he almost trips and falls and like he catches himself by flying, you know, by, you know, just by pure instinct, you know, something like that. Like, you know what I'm trying to say. So I'm kind of thinking Ryan doesn't have any powers and Homelander is going to realize that. And he's talking to Ryan as like, we're gods, dude, we are gods. And then he's going to realize, oh, Ryan doesn't have any powers. All right. He's useless to me. I'm out of here. You know, so that's the only, that's how he's going to like fuck off. Or Becca might just tell him like, hey, look, Ryan doesn't have any powers. And then Homelander's going to be like, oh, really? Then Homelander's going to put him through like some tests and then realize, oh, he, shit, he doesn't. All right, I'm out. Something like that. If my if my theory is right, that he doesn't have any powers. Also, I do have also I have a question. OK, when they give you the compound V, like, can they choose what powers you get or is it just random? You know, like, do you if you if I put compound P. If I put compound V into me, could I choose what powers I'm going to get? Or is it just random, you know? Please let me know. And one thing I'm actually really loving is the Deep's, like, side story, you know? Like, the side story with the Deep. You know, he's very insecure and self-conscious about his guilt. So he takes it out on other people, you know? 
And so he has to learn how to love and accept himself. He's going through a very deep character progression. I feel like at the end of this season, he's gonna he's gonna have a total 180 by the end of this season. He's gonna be a completely different person. And he's gonna learn to love him. He's gonna learn to love himself, and then he'll love everyone else and love everything around him, you know? At first, I fucking hated him, and then I felt bad for him, and then I like I like to see where he's going. You know, like the biggest thing with insecurities, at least I figured out, at least for me, is like if you're insecure about something. You just you have to face it. You have to just fix it. You know, like I fucking hated my teeth, so I got braces. You know, I still have them and I'm going to get them off very soon. I'm going to be so happy that I eventually got them. So you just got to confront them. But with the gills, there's really nothing you can do about that. So you just have to learn to like accept them. You know, you have to learn how to accept them and live with them. The best way I could probably relate to the deep is I have stretch marks like right here. Pretty damn bad. And it's like at first when I first noticed them, I was like, holy shit. Like I was like tripping about it. But then it's like, look, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, I can't really control that. Sure, I could like, I can manage it by putting stuff on it, you know, but it's like overall, they're gonna be there. And then eventually it's like, I just accepted them. And now I don't really care about them anymore. Like I don't even, now that I don't care about them, I don't notice them. So I feel like that that's where the deep has to go. He has to get to a point to where he doesn't care about the gills, so he won't notice them anymore. You have to embrace them, you know? That's, the only, that's probably like the only way you're gonna really get over that. And once you learn to embrace it, you'll actually start to love it you know so i have uh i have good hope for the deep i have good hope but anyways that was the boys season two episode two comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching